In the heart of Thane West, right off Kodbandar Road, is a property known as Sudarshan Sky Garden. We are India property and that is the property we are going to be reviewing for you today. Sudarshan Sky Garden is located roughly 6 to 7 kilometers from Thane Station. It is flanked by malls and skyscrapers on all sides. That makes it a prime location in Thane West. Let us now discuss some of the amenities offered at Sudarshan Sky Garden. This property is a modern construction and as you can see, the lobby has been done up beautifully. Some of the amenities offered here include a clubhouse, a gym, a swimming pool, a landscape garden, a kids play area, 24-7 security, full parking for all members, two lifts servicing all the buildings, power backup for all the common areas, firefighting systems and rainwater harvesting systems. CCTV camera monitoring and intercoms for every flat. Let us now take a look at a model 2 BHK apartment in Sudarshan Sky Garden. We are now in a model 2 BHK apartment in Sudarshan Sky Garden. This 2 BHK apartment has a saleable area of 1048 square feet and a carpet area of 660 square feet. The living room is 17 feet 8 inches by 9 feet 8 inches in dimensions which makes it quite large. There's also a dining area attached to the living room which has dimensions of 9 feet 9 inches by 8 feet 3 inches which also makes it quite spacious. Spacious enough in fact to accommodate a moderately large dining table that can sit 6 people. Electrical sockets and switches have been placed at convenient locations across the living room. The floors of the entire apartment have been done up in 2 cross 2 vitrified tiles and all of the walls are covered in an oil based stemper paint. The main door and the other doors in this entire apartment have been done up beautifully and seem to be of sturdy build. All of the fittings on the door are also of good quality. True to its name, the moment you open the window, there's a breeze flowing in. Let us now take a look at the kitchen. With dimensions of 9 feet 11 inches by 7 feet 3 inches, this kitchen is also moderately large. There are two countertops, one main countertop and one parallel countertop. There's space to install a fridge next to the main countertop which happens to end in a stainless steel sink. The fittings on the sink are of Jaguar and hence of good quality. There's an electrical socket available next to the parallel counter which you can use to install and run a microwave oven. There are also conveniently placed sockets for the fridge and the water purifier. The kitchen has a small window which allows a lot of air in but not much light. The kitchen walls have been done up in designer Dado tiles up to the lintel level. Yet another good thing about this kitchen is that the dining area is right in front of it which makes things quite convenient. Let us now move inward to the secondary bedroom. With dimensions of 9 feet 11 inches by 12 feet 10 inches, the secondary bedroom is actually larger than you see in most 2 BHK flats. There's a large window at one end which overlooks Thane city and the nearby malls and multiplexes. Electrical sockets have been placed at convenient locations across the room. It's well lit throughout the day. In fact, it's 4 p.m. now and the room is quite well lit as you can see. This room, however, does not have an attached toilet and bath. The common bathroom is located right next to this room and the floor of the common toilet has been done up in anti-skid tiles. The walls of the same have been done up in designer Dado tiles. The fittings are all Jaguar and Sira, which is a good thing. Let us now move on to the master bedroom. The master bedroom has dimensions of 13 feet by 9 feet 10 inches, which makes it moderate sized. In fact, I think it's a little small for a 2 BHK master bedroom. Electrical plug points have once again been placed conveniently across the room and there's a large window that overlooks Thane City. The window also provides for fantastic ventilation and some good lighting. There's an attached toilet and bath in this room which is smaller than the common toilet and bath but I guess that'll do. 
The fittings in the toilet are of good quality. The floor has been done up in anti-skid tiles and the walls have been done up in designer dado tiles. Summing up for this flat, the doors and the windows seem to be of good quality, wood and anodized aluminium respectively. The wall has been done up in a good quality paint and the floors have been done up in vitrified tiles, which is a good thing. That brings us to the end of this video property review. We hope this review is helpful to you. Whether looking for any kind of property, land, commercial, residential or farmhouse, India property has it all. Thank you for watching.